Hey friends, hey, we're doing something a little weird today, a little different. We're doing pie on the patio because let me tell you why. Got lots going on. It's Monday afternoon. Actually, there's a repairman here working on my furnace and my AC unit. So that is off of my kitchen. So I bought this show outside. You'll be able to hear the goats and the turkeys carry on and see the dogs running around. Anyway, let's get on with this easy, impossible pie. I'm taking shortcuts today since I've been so busy and I didn't make a dessert yesterday. So I'm making up for it today. So here we go. So I've got one stick of softened butter in my bowl. We're gonna go next with three eggs. One, two. You know, I thought I'd bring you outside sunshine. It's a beautiful day here in Southern Ohio. Why not make a pile of patio? All right, here's our third egg. We're gonna give that a stir. Get that all mixed together. Just simple. So why it's called Impossible Pie is because it makes its own crust as it bakes, which I am all for. Today is shortcut day, I'm calling it. And I'll show you later what we're having for dinner, which I'm glad I decided because, like I said, it's a hectic day and we've got um, him working there in the kitchen and off the kitchen. All right, so we've got one cup of sugar. Get that all mixed in with the butter. I mean, what's the best combination of that butter and sugar? I mean, come on, we're already at a good uh, mixture there. Sorry, anytime somebody's outside, the goats carry on for attention. So you're gonna hear them. Hi, Harper Jean. You two get out of that trash, Jakey. All right, so there we've got that. Now we've got one cup of flour, all-purpose flour. Oh, get that mixed in. This would be a great Easter recipe to make, like for brunch. 350 degrees the oven in the house. I'm not baking this outside. That'd be cool if I had an outdoor oven, but I do not. All right, get all that flour incorporated in there. So there's our mixture. Now we're going in with one cup of coconut. I love coconut. I love anything coconut. All right. Yum. Go coconuts in, and we'll add two teaspoons of vanilla. We've already been to town, ran some errands, I ran to the store, did some things. We dropped the camper off at our friend, uh, our friend's a mechanic, he has a mechanic shop here in town. We dropped the camper off for him to check it out. He's going to give it a good once over and see what all needs done. Hopefully, not too much. All right, two teaspoons of vanilla. The last two cups of milk. Okay, give that a stir without spilling it everywhere. I don't really think it matters what order you put the ingredients in, just as long as you get it mixed up well. Now, as this bakes, it'll create its own crust from the bottom up. Now, how simple was that? I mean, come on, friends. All right, like I said, 350 degree oven. We've got our pipe pan here. I've sprayed with some uh, Baker's Joy. Jake, <laughs> I'm glad he's on the other side because his face is up here. We're gonna pour this right into our pie pan. Jakey, Jakey loves sweets. So he's already trying to check out this recipe. I'll give you a piece later. I'll have to check see if dogs can eat coconut. All right, there we go, that's it. I'm gonna take this in the house, put it in the oven 350 degrees for one hour. And I'll be back to show you the finished product. Nice out. Mason says he doesn't want a piece because he's not a fan of coconut. I think he'll change his mind, but I'm not gonna cut him one anyway. So I'm gonna cut me a piece here. Cut a piece for Brock. Oh, 
Look at that. Impossible pie, coconut custard pie, however you want to call it. We're going to call it delicious. Mmm. Kind of like your grandma's old-fashioned sugar pie, sugar cream pie, and coconut. Chef's kiss. All right, I'm going to go. Have a great day. Try the impossible pie. Perfect for Easter. Perfect for brunch. Give it a try.